This virtual tutorial will walk you through the process of submitting time off requests. First, log in to your employee portal and click Time and Attendance. This will open up your Nova Time dashboard. And you can either click the shortcut Leave Management arrow or click on your action bar. Select Scheduler, Request. The request page will default to the current week. If you would like to select a different week for your time off request, please click on the calendar and make your selection. On the day that you would like to request time off, click on the plus sign and select the correct accrual code. For example, vacation. Once the hour editor window will open, please select or enter the hours that you need to request for that day. In this example, eight hours, and click confirm. Now your day has populated with a request for vacation eight hours for Monday. You can add a comment to your supervisor by clicking the plus sign. This step is optional. Then click Confirm. If you would like to request multiple days on the same week or, or consecutive days, please click on the Copy Next arrow. This will populate your very same request from the previous day into the next day. You can also use the double arrow copy all function if you would like to request a full week. Please ensure that any days that should not be included on your request are removed. In this example, Saturday. And you can remove it by clicking on the negative or minus sign. Once you're ready to submit your request, please click Save. Your supervisor will receive a notification letting them know that you have submitted a time off request. Once they have approved or denied your request, you will receive an email notification to the email address that we have on file. You will also have a copy of your messages if you access your Nova Time dashboard on your upper right corner, if you click on the envelope, you can double click on your message and it will show you any requests that have been either approved, declined, or removed. If you would like to remove a request that has been previously approved by your Supervisor, you can go to Request and click on the minus sign. This function can only be done if that date has not happened yet. If it was a previous request that was approved in the past and you did not take the time off, please contact your supervisor. Now let's review your accrual. If you would like to see your available balance, Click on the action bar, attendance, accruals history. From this page, you will be able to see your available balance. You can click on the plus sign to expand and have a detailed view of your accruals. Any hours that have accrued will show as an available balance, and the notes will read system accrual hours. Once you have used some of that time, for example, eight hours were used for October 8th, those will be deducted from your available balance, and the notes will read usage. This completes the tutorial for Pay time off submissions.